You know this is a piece of shit, right? What the fuck are you talking about, Buzz? I'm talking about this being a waste of time. Come on, come on. You're seriously telling me that there's nothing to see in video games. There's no, there's no any kind of artistic integrity. You're saying that video games aren't art? Yeah, I think it's juvenile crap. Do, do you want to argue about it? Yeah, I ain't got nowhere to be. Fine, let's do it. Now, before we start getting into discussing whether or not video games are art, we need first to discover what art is. What is the definition of art? First, let's go to the Compact English Oxford Dictionary of 1996. This book defines art as, quote, 1. A. Human creative skill or its application. B. Work exhibiting this. Well, that's all well and good, but that's 1996. Let's go for a more recent definition. From the Collins Dictionary and Thesaurus. Let's take a look. The Collins Dictionary of the Thesaurus of 2011 defines art as... 1. The creation of works or beauty or other special significance. 2. Works of art collectively. 3. Human creativity as distinguished from nature. <laughs> well, that's not so bad either. But for good measure, let's check what the internet has to say. <laughs> Just... Here we go. The official Oxford Dictionary's website defines art as the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Well, while all these definitions seem to differ peripherally, Something does seem to be consistent here. The application of human creativity to create a media text. Something representing beauty or emotional power. Well, this definition of art can be applied pretty broadly. I mean, even by this logic, a YouTube poop could be considered art because even there, we can see human creativity being used to manipulate already existing audio and video to create comedy. It, it could be a... It, it could be anything, you know, it's subjective. It could be the cheap laughs you get from a YouTube poop, or the, the tears that are shed during a grand, emotional, heart-wrenching epic like Wicked City. AWESOME! <laughs> this demonstrates that video games are capable of having an emotional core. I mean, the narrative is celebrated in mainstream games like the Mass Effect series, all the way down to indie gems like To The Moon. It demonstrates that video games can provoke an emotional response due to their creativity. I mean, okay, games like Mortal Kombat don't exactly help my case, but that's just a case of variety. You're always going to have juvenile crap like this. That just comes from the medium. That's no different for any other form of art. You're always going to have juvenile bullshit. It's nice to see that some games exercise some kind of emotional depth. Otherwise, the video game industry is just shoulder ramming the door of fine arts, hoping that someone would be nice enough to let them in. In his book, very simply titled Video Games, James Newman describes the effect of video game narratives as being like the hollow deck on Star Trek. It has this effect of placing the player within the narrative. And that as a result, you could argue, enhances the emotional impact of the narrative and the characters, because the player is put within the game. A brief tangent. Look at this book. Is this not the most unhelpful book cover you've ever seen in your life? It's literally called video games. It's like calling it films. And if that's not good enough, look at this cover. Look at this image. Would you ever know that this was supposed to be about video games unless it was literally called video games? It looks like a picture you got of Google. Well done, James. 
would be that desperate? One thing I'd like to share with you all before we go. In their book Glued to Games, authors Ryan Richards and Scott Rigby theorise that much in the same way that films and TV have users in gratifications due to Stuart Hall's theory, they theorise that there is an equivalent for the uses in gratifications in video games. The first of these needs is autonomy the need for freedom, the need to make meaningful choices in a game. This might apply more to, say, role-playing games or sandbox games, as they give you both the feeling of freedom and the opportunity to make meaningful decisions, for example, choosing what class you're going to be in an RPG, or choosing what kind of car you're going to steal in an open-world game. And suddenly there are games out there that have explored the meaning of autonomy. Games like Bioshock and The Stanley Parable. Games that show us that we don't have any kind of freedom. That our choices don't matter. Bioshock, through its kind of subtle narrative and its very spooky steampunk setting, well, The Stanley Parable has a more weird, upbeat, hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy style humour. The second of these needs is competence, the need to grow the need to develop, the need to overcome obstacles, which really could be applied to any game because yeah, pretty much any story is about conflict and overcoming obstacles and growing. This is something that's achieved in all games and really all media texts for the narrative. Final one of these needs is relatedness, the need for social interaction. Now, these can be fulfilled mainly by shooters. Shooters of the last decade have really emphasised multiplayer. Games like Team Fortress 2 really, really emphasise multiplayer. You're always working on a team in Team Fortress 2. I think this demonstrates above all that whether you believe video games are a form of art or not, that they certainly do have a great importance in our new modern digital society. Video games, they fulfill a need far greater than simple fun, although that certainly is a part of it. They fulfill needs beyond what the public sees. And I think that's the best thing to take away from this. I believe there art, you may not, but if nothing else, consider why we need them, why we need them as much as films or books, any of those. We need video games. Are we starting to understand each other a little bit more? No. Oh, that's fine. I give up. Bye.